Looking for a thrilling movie experience filled with unexpected twists and turns? Look no further than The Mechanic, released in 1972. This action-packed film follows the story of a skilled hitman as he navigates a dangerous world of crime and deception. But here's the kicker, there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this movie that you won't want to miss. So keep your eyes peeled and stay tuned for more. Out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Or perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with the mechanic? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching for more interesting tidbits and anecdotes about this classic film. In the 1972 movie, The Mechanic, a seasoned hitman played by Charles Bronson, considers retiring from his lethal job. The story unfolds as he reluctantly takes on an apprentice, portrayed by Jan Michael Vincent, leading to various challenges in their partnership. Directed by Michael Winner, the film explores the complexities of the hitman's character and his interactions within the criminal world. Despite the questionable morality of the main characters, the movie's story remains captivating and well-crafted. Bronson's portrayal of the hitman is particularly impressive, showcasing his stoicism and intelligence. Vincent also delivers a standout performance as the eager apprentice, adding depth to their dynamic. The film's visuals, including its cinematography and soundtrack, enhance its impact. From the striking opening to the carefully crafted scenes, the mechanic captures viewers' attention with its attention to detail and storytelling. While known as an action film, the mechanic goes beyond its genre, exploring themes like loyalty, morality, and the consequences of one's actions. This depth, along with strong performances and skilled direction, establishes it as a standout from its time. In essence, the mechanic offers a compelling cinematic experience that lingers with audiences. Its blend of action, character development, and thematic exploration makes it a timeless classic worth watching again. Jan Michael Vincent, known for his roles in American TV shows, transitioned to films in the late 1960s, making his debut in a Mexican production. He gained attention for his performance in The World's Greatest Athlete. Meanwhile, Charles Bronson, a versatile actor, portrayed characters with unique abilities, such as reading lips in two separate films, The Mechanic and The Evil That Men Do. The Mechanic, released in 1972, marked the final appearance of actress Sarah Taft. Vincent and Bronson starred in this action-packed thriller about a skilled hitman mentoring a young apprentice. The movie showcases intense action sequences and a gripping storyline, making it a memorable addition to the action genre. In The Mechanic, Bronson's character mentors a protege, played by Jan Michael Vincent, in The Art of Assassination. The film's plot unfolds with tension and suspense, keeping viewers engaged until the climactic finale. Despite being released decades ago, the film remains a classic in the action genre, appreciated for its strong performances and thrilling narrative. The Mechanic, released in 1972, is notable for its unique approach to storytelling. The movie opens without any dialogue for the first 16 minutes, setting a tone of suspense and intrigue. Keenan Wynn, known for his role as the mechanic's uncle, had a personal life intertwined with notable figures like the Hudson Brothers. His daughter Hilda was married to singer-songwriter Paul Williams, while another daughter, Emily, tragically passed away at the age of 20. Linda Ridgway, who portrayed Louise, the mechanic's suicidal girlfriend, later came forward as one of the many accusers of Bill Cosby, citing an incident from 1971, the year preceding the film's release. This film delves into themes of secrecy, betrayal, and the consequences of one's actions, making it a gripping watch for fans of suspenseful cinema. Charles Bronson, famous for his tough and rugged roles on screen, played a crucial part in the 1972 film The Mechanic. Born in 1921, he had a long career spanning many years, making him a well-known actor in American movies. More about his life can be found in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives, Volume 7, published in 27 on pages 4850. The movie is set in Los Angeles, where the first victim of the character Arthur Bishop, played by Bronson, lived at 300 E 5th St. The Building, an important location in the film still stands today. However, the hotel where Bishop plans and takes photos of his targets is no longer there. It's been replaced by the Los Angeles mission. One interesting thing about the movie is the original script by Louis John Carlino, which showed a romantic relationship between Arthur Bishop and Steve McKenna. This caused problems in getting funding and some actors like George C. Scott didn't want to be part of it unless the script was changed to remove the gay storyline. 
the mechanic delves into the world of contract killing, showcasing Bronson's tough guy image. The film's gritty portrayal of a hitman navigating a dangerous profession, combined with Bronson's strong presence on screen, contributed to its influence on the crime thriller genre. In summary, Charles Bronson's role in The Mechanic offers a peek into the intense world of contract killing, featuring a character whose actions and motives unfold against the backdrop of a changing Los Angeles. The film not only shows Bronson's acting skills, but also highlights the challenges faced during its production due to controversial elements in the original script. Charles Bronson, famous for his tough guy image, teamed up with his wife, Jill Ireland, in the 1972 film The Mechanic. Bronson plays an experienced hitman, while Ireland acts as a prostitute, which adds an interesting twist to their collaboration. This movie is one of 16 where Bronson and Ireland work together. Their real-life relationship made their on-screen chemistry feel genuine, especially considering Ireland's role as a prostitute, which added depth to the story. Aside from his acting, Bronson's distinctive voice also made an impact. It even inspired a character on The Simpsons, a popular animated show that started in 1989. When it came to casting, Bronson's name was suggested to take over roles originally played by John Wayne in Rooster Cogburn and The Shootist. This shows how respected Bronson was in the industry and how people saw his talent. In short, The Mechanic is an important movie for Charles Bronson and Jill Ireland, giving us a glimpse into their shared professional journey. Bronson's influence reached beyond acting, as seen in his lasting impact on popular culture and being considered for major Hollywood roles. The Mechanic, starring Charles Bronson, is a 1972 action film that gained recognition for its significant body count of 25. Bronson, known for his roles in House of Wax, The Magnificent Seven, and Once Upon a Time in the West, brought his trademark intensity to the title role. Interestingly, with Bronson's passing in 23, Robert Vaughn became the last surviving actor from The Magnificent Seven until his death in 2016 at the age of 83. The mechanic remains a notable entry in Bronson's filmography, showcasing his prowess as an action star. In The Mechanic, a gritty thriller released in 1972, the setting of the first victim's residence is a rundown hotel in downtown Los Angeles. This hotel features a dive bar on the corner known as the Hard Rock Cafe, famously discovered by the doors. The band used it for photos on the back cover and gatefold of their Morrison Hotel album. The cafe's name was later borrowed by Isaac Tigret and Peter Morton for their restaurant in London. Renowned actor Charles Bronson collaborated with director Michael Winner on six films, including The Mechanic. Their partnership also produced other notable films like Chato's Land, The Stone Killer, Death Wish, Death Wish Roman II, and Death Wish III. Originally, Monty Hellman was set to direct The Mechanic. However, after a few weeks of filming, producers Erwin Winkler and Robert Chartoff made a switch. They brought in Michael Winner, who had previously worked with Bronson on Chato's Land. Winner took over directing duties and steered the film towards its completion. 